Do you have any questions for me? So what's the question about consciousness then? Why is that a trick? Why is it magic? Why is it only us? Okay, let's get started. What is consciousness? What is the mind? Well, I think there's a spirit that emerges when the snake captures its own tail. There's something transcendent that happens at that very moment, like an electric circuit. It's complete. Then there is a transcendent, ooh, something exists that didn't exist, and it has its own behavior. If you're a pure materialist, for consciousness to exist, it, its causes have to be inherent in matter. Matter itself has got to be conscious. You're basically saying that material thinks, material feels, material is conscious, matter is conscious. Everything in the world is conscious is an occasion of consciousness. There is no veridical answer. Does it possess consciousness or not? Has it a soul or not? There is no. It's yes and no. Maybe that artificial consciousness or that, that artificial entity is just a puppet, always just going to be a puppet. It can fool us. The, 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 the performance can be so convincing. Okay, let's get started. Please select one of the following options. Please say yes or no. This will be recorded. One, six, three, five, five, five. To talk to a real person. To talk to. To talk to a real person, please press three. Please hold. This will be recorded. For anything else. Please say yes or no in about one minute. To provide the best service, I'll ask. To provide the best service, I'll ask you a couple of questions. Current hold time is between six and ten minutes. To go back to the main menu, if this is an emergency, please say yes or no. Is this recorded? What is this? about God that, you know, not a sparrow falls, but that God is not there witnessing it, you know, actually participating in it. Why not, you know? Like, <laughs> nothing will pass the unceasing vigilance of God, right? <laughs> how, many, how many cell phones are there in the world? How many billions of cell phones are there? Well, that's how many video cameras are. <laughs> you, know? mm -hmm. you could wallpaper the whole joint, you know. Many people are very paranoid about the surveillance state. You know, the NSA, the no such agency, is listening to every telephone call on the entire planet. Yeah. Listening in on it, you know, looking through every camera. You know, the thousand eyes of Dr. Mabuse. <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. But 
the flip side of that is that, you know, it is this synthetic God or this prosthetic God. That's the other interpretation of Freud's little phrase, is that we build an artificial God as a prosthesis for ourselves, for our own, to, to help look after us. have the idea that the soul and consciousness of him arises out of nothing at birth or somewhere along the line. Uh, so when we think about consciousness, can consciousness arise from complex interactions? Every Western thinker start from the idea that consciousness is going to be created. And from a Buddhist point of view, consciousness is neither created nor destroyed, but only transforms. It's like Consciousness for us is equivalent to energy. It's not something that you create. It's something that is there and just changes forms and associates with various structures. And its, its beginnings are just like the universe from a Buddhist point of view, incalculable. So it's not produced by materiality, but it could be if it finds some matrix of materiality mm, adequate for its, uh, its function. It, there's no reason why it can't exist. And it could be some sort of biochemical or sophisticated artificial structure that allows consciousness to arise in it. If the consciousness finds it compatible, there's no reason why it can't arise in it. So that could be, that would be rebirth in a machine. <laughs> I don't know, the whole thing gets a little fishy and weird when we start thinking about, oh, a conscious machine. It's not even necessary to go there. Because the only consciousness we can know is the one right here. machine consciousness, we should really ask, can, is it possible for humans to become conscious? You know, is that <laughs> possible? Mm -hmm. Can we collectively become conscious? Because that's, I think that's the real question. If each individual understands where they are, and you don't have one massive machine telling everybody what to do, it is possible we can work it out. I mean, if we weren't unhappy, uptight, paranoid, freaked out. We simply have to cooperate with each other. All watched over by machines of loving grace. <laughs>